I want to share everything with you but this, except not my beef ribs. If you like barbecue with a lot of flavor, then this is the ultimate recipe for you. I'm going to show you how you can make the most amazing beef ribs. They have so much flavor, it's going to blow your mind. Today is the day that we're going to take beef ribs to the next level. These are beautiful beef ribs with a lot of intermuscular fat. And the fat will render down during the cooking process, turning these beef ribs into extremely juicy beef ribs. But to take these beef ribs to the next level, we're going to cut them up into individual bones and maximize our service. Let's trim these up. Starting by taking off the silver skin that's on top of these beef ribs. Now we don't want to take all of that fat off because we love the fat of the beef ribs. But just the messy bits, the things that we really don't need and that are going to prevent all of the flavors from getting into the meat. Now we're going to slice it into single ribs. And oh boy, do they look good. Oh, what a beautiful rib, man. I'm falling in love with these ribs. All that surface needs a lot of flavor and flavor is added by making a rub. Now that we have all this beautiful surface on our meat, we need to add flavor to it. And I like to stay true to barbecue and get a nice authentic salt and pepper kind of barbecue rub. So we're starting with salt and this is fleur de sel. It's a light sea salt. And the thing that I love about it the most is that it just renders down so beautifully and penetrates the meat in such a beautiful way. There's nothing like it. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it. To the salt, we're going to add the equal amount of ground black pepper. Now we have our bases set and I want to add more flavor. This is not specifically to pop out while you're eating it. You don't want to be eating onion or garlic. You want to have a little boost of flavor. And that's exactly what the onion does. So we add half a part of it. With the garlic, we got to be more careful. We just want to add a little bit. One eighth part is more than enough. Otherwise you get some of that bitterness and we want to stay away from that. Now we have our easy but really good barbecue rub set up. So we'll close the lid, mix it up, and it's good to go. Now it's time to bring these two beautiful things together. We got the meat, we got the rub, and make sure you sprinkle a lot of rub on that meat. Beef ribs absolutely love a good salt and pepper rub. Let's fire up our Kamada Joe and start cooking. Now that we have all this flavor, we've got to do something with it. We're going to smoke it and we need a heat deflector to create an indirect zone. So I'm going to place this at the bottom of the barbecue on one side. And above that on the same side, I'm going to place the grill grate. This is where we're going to set our beef ribs. Of course, we need a little smoke wood and I just love my beach. So that's going to go in and it's going to provide us with a lot of smoke because that's what these beef ribs need. We're going to be smoking these beef ribs at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. So let's put the beef ribs in and start smoking. Our beef ribs are smoking, so it's time to start making a mopping sauce. Starting with a cup of coffee, a tablespoon of sugar, one cup of ketchup, half a tablespoon of ground black pepper, a tablespoon of salt, and mix that all up and let it become nice and warm so we can splash it on our ladies. The beef ribs have been on for around four hours now. We're getting close to the finish point and I've been mopping it every hour or so, just looking at that bark develop. When it dries up, you just brush it on again, get the mopping styles on, make sure that it stays nice and moist all during the cooking time. Now we're going for that home stretch. 
and the core temperature is going to be 94 degrees Celsius. Then we'll wrap it, let it rest and see how it turned out. There it is, beef ribs. Flavor from here to the moon and back. Beautiful bark. No, it's not burned for the suckers that don't know anything about barbecue. This is bark and it means flavor. We got juiciness on the inside. We got a beautiful smoke ring and then we got that nice dark bark, which is flavor. I said it three times now, so you must get the point. This is what this is all about. We want flavor, we want to keep the juiciness and still have a good barbecue experience. So no juices lost, no dry beef ribs, only the perfect stuff, only the good stuff, just for you guys. Except you don't get to eat it. It's just me. Marston doesn't get any either. He doesn't know, but I'll tell him later. We're gonna start with a whole new fresh one. Mm. Oh my God. The flavors just keep coming. It's like, it's layer after layer after layer of flavor. And I don't know, it's like, I'm, I'm still analyzing what's happened. There's so much flavor. And then there's the little peppery tingly in the back. And it's like, ooh. We did, we did it in like five hours or so. And we went low and slow. So we had the perfect result and it was done in no time. Camera's off. No? Yeah. So I can eat now, right? No. No? You need to do cleaning. This is... I just cleaned everything. Clean. Nah! I'm gonna start with the knife so you can... Nah, come on, one piece. All right. Yeah? One piece. Seriously, you get one piece, you're gonna go for the smallest one? I no. get it. You know I love you, man. Mm. I know you think you're the best. You're an amazing cameraman, an amazing videographer. Fantastic. I want to share everything with you. With this? Except not my beef ribs. Can I have some coleslaw? You can have, some, you can have all the coleslaw you want. I'm going to get a spoon. You want a bread with it? I'm going to get a spoon. All right, I got a spoon. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I'm just happy with what I'm getting. Mmm. What did it taste even better with? A beef ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tease Morris any longer. Go ahead, grab a big one. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble with the audience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, mm, you know what to do, right? Leave us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I hope to see you guys soon. Um, until then, it's Makkelijk. And keep on grilling. Yes, that's right. Did I say thank you to the patrons and YouTube members? Thank you. Thanks, thank you very much. Thank you guys. You guys are the bomb. But it's weird how much flavor we managed to get on the beef ribs. More than usual. <laughs>